Legend to the War here, and today we've got a saving and disaster battle playing as the Ice Court going up against Festus the Leech Lord. It's gonna keep making this silly noise, so let's just jump into the battle here and I'll explain the situation as we go. So it's a field battle, and we're going up against a little bit more than a full stack, it's more like a stack and a half. Festus's army is not that big, but the reinforcements are fairly large. Uh, we've got a mixed army, yep, no cheese here. We got a wizard commanding it, but she's not on a horse, so I'm not gonna be able to run up ahead and. Uh, yeah, I gotta be careful about doing that. Um, thing is, all of the infantry are missile units, but that's just part of being in Kislev. Everyone is a hybrid missile melee unit. So, you know, we got mostly Streltsies, uh, sorry, mostly Cossars, armored Cossars, Streltsies, and then regular Cossars here. Then there's a few winged lances there, which. I guess I can use them to harass the enemy and get them to run around in different directions. Because we've got the speed advantage. Now, if we could win the battle within two minutes, that'd be great, but I just don't think we can, so I'm just not going to try to do that. If we had Vanguard... Oh, this one's got Vanguard. Mm. It's a bit risky. I think we're still better off taking a defensive position. Alright, I know this map. I know this map. This map can be a pain in the ass. Okay, so what we're going to do... I'm going to use this here. How are we going to use it? Okay, I reckon if we stand about here... Should be okay. Sort of layer up our defenses. Guns need to be in a position where they can fire. Where, uh, like... Like, um, clear, clean line of sight. Whereas these ones here, they can shoot over obstructions fairly easily, so them obviously be in the rear. Um, I'll move them around once the battle begins. And these guys here, let's try to get their attention as soon as possible. I don't really like being in the trees here, um, but I think we just need to make do. Right, okay, yeah, that makes sense. I'm gonna go stand over there. Okay, that's fine. They're taking a defense position. We're taking a defense position. Um, but. It's important to keep in mind, they are the attacker. They're just waiting for their reinforcements. Yeah, I'll never get there in time to do anything. Interesting. If they're going to come at us all at once, that could be a big problem. So it really is important to harass them. This terrain here could be really helpful for us, or it could totally screw us over. It's one of the two. But it's really important that we keep an eye on terrain. So anybody running over here is going to be a problem for them. So what I might do is move them up to about here. That's not particularly helpful right now. Alright, we'll see how that goes. Make sure everyone's on guard mode. But yeah, with this map here, I've fought on it a few times before, and there's no real clear way where you want to set up your army. Just because this can actually be very finicky with the way the missile units work at the moment, because it can kind of obstruct you a little bit. So we just got to kind of cross our fingers and hope that the missile units don't screw up. Because we're going to need a lot of firepower very early. And look, by the time I get here, it's going to be too late. But if I could just get them to start coming at us early, it'd make a big difference. We don't have the capabilities to just charge in here and make it work. They're coming at us now. Alright, we should use our magic to try to get rid of some of these demons. Good, that's wasted. I find that with the Lore of Ice, the uh, the Ice Maiden's Kiss is probably the, the most cost-effective of the spells. Since we're going up against Nurgle, we should be able to outrun them. These Marauders, 35 speed to it. Yeah, yeah, we should be able to outrun them. Alright, now the odds are, you know, a bit out of our favor. Now, it's definitely a risk doing this. Okay, you go out there and take that out. Um, man, they're going ham on those fire attacks. Then that's fine. 
Because you run the risk of losing your Lord, but the benefit of it is that you can do some damage to them early and get them to sort of rush at you, so that you're, uh, you don't have to deal with their entire army all at once. I guess it is, there is risks involved. Is Festus healing? Can heal. Dude, these fireballs are doing jack shit. Alright, we could use Death Frost on. Oh god, we can get extra range with Overcasted. Yes. Only two extra wins of magic. Okay, doesn't have any spell resistance, so I think that might be a good call. Because, yeah, if we can kill him, he's the commander of this army, and he could end up doing a shitload of damage to us if he gets over here. If we could manage to wipe him out early, that could make a big difference. Problem is that Death Frost is kind of a really shit for cost-effective spell. Really, really not effective. Okay, we're doing some decent damage over here. Good, that's two units wiped out with them. fucking hill here at all. Alright, these ones coming in fast here. Could use... I don't think they're necessarily trying to go into melee with us, because that one's... They're both wizards, but they might. Could use this. So i slow this one down a bit. Also stack with this, but I really need to get rid of Festus, who is now ages away. Okay, now see how a lot of their units are hanging back. This is fairly good for us, this situation here. Luckily that wasn't a very good cast all. She should not be pinning them down. Get him in range of the guns. I'm gonna take some damage there. So I need these cavalry to get around the other side here to get rid of those goddamn dogs. Okay, with giants incoming. And just slow it down. Uh, I could use this, it'll give it frostbite for a few. You know, it's not a good use of our winds. Come on, get her back over here. Good, that one's nearly gone. Now, the thing is, with the way the missile units work or don't work, it's actually really detrimental to give attack orders. So, you just if they're firing, even if it's not necessarily the target that you want them to, count your lucky stars that they're actually shooting at something. How are we going over here? Where those uh, wolves go? Okay. Well, they're tanking over here, buying us a little bit of time. We're definitely going to take some damage in this battle. There's no two ways about that. I really want to try to save this magic, get, getting rid of Festus. Because if he gets over here, it's going to be a problem. Okay, got rid of that Beast of Nurgle easily enough. These guys here holding alright. They're definitely going to get wrecked. There's no two ways about it. Oh. Come on, buddy. No way. I didn't see them. But luckily, they, they can't do much to uh, wing glances. But the Nurglings could be a bit of a pain. But just get rid of them first, and then we'll, we'll see. There we go. And these guys here shooting. Yeah, everyone's shooting. Bounce of power's improving a little bit. Let's try to slow them down. If they get killed, they get killed. Let's just focus on winning this. Okay, get back. Don't be fighting those Nurglings. If anything, try to get these guys to run on a wild goose chase so they don't hit us in the flank. Slow down Festus just a little bit. One more Death Frost overcasted should finish him off. Yeah, these guys here, try to get them out of there. But if they get wiped out, they get wiped out. Let's just focus on winning. This actually should be a fairly good cast. Okay, then let's try to get these cavalry over here and snipe 
Festus. Because, yeah, if he comes over here, big problems. Okay, get rid of this fucking giant. Didn't want to give attack orders, but... <laughs> they're, they're getting into us now. How are we going for magic? Yeah, let's do a little bit in reserve. Bounce of power is not horrendous. Okay, now I need to really use my magic for Ice Maiden's kiss right here. Guys. Okay, just it should only take a few shots. Get rid of Festus the Leech Lord there. Just get rid of him before he starts casting like crazy on us. So close to death. Good, we got rid of him. Oh. More there. We're getting hit on the flank over here. I need you guys to turn around. This explosion is not that useful here right now. Oh, man, this audio is fucking up. Come on, hurry up and get rid of those damn Chaos Warhounds. I need you over here. Okay, rear charge time. Hopefully it makes a difference. Which it did. It did. It did actually make a difference. Okay, that one is gone. Can't outrun the Chaos Warhounds, so you just got to shoot them. Get rid of those damn demons there. We've got to keep cycle charging them there. Bouncer power is okay. We're not in a position where we can just like keep falling back because they've got units that are actually faster than us. All we can do here is hope that the terrain is actually working to our advantage here. And route them. Forget about them. Okay, Streltsies have done a good amount of damage, but I think they're struggling a little bit now to land a clear line of sight. Maybe shoot the ones that aren't in melee over here. And get rid of this damn Chaos Spawn. Come on, Bouncer Power's improving. We just need a bit more. Cycle charging. Okay, I need, need you guys shooting over in this flank now. Turn around. This is not that big of a deal. I'm going to bring the cavalry back around over here to get rid of these mortars. You guys back over here, help out. Don't bring them back to the front. Mountain Power's improving. Looks like we're going to win. Let's just hope we don't get exhausted and run out of puff. I'll tell you what would be good. Let's get the Streltsies out of there, because they're the only ones with any fucking ammo left. Okay, and let's fall back to this position here so the Streltsies will actually be able to shoot properly. Get her back. We're falling back. We're falling back. But yeah, get the Streltsies up to this hill here so they've actually got a good line of sight to shoot. Guys, to stand here. That way, the, uh, the Streltsies will actually have an okay chance of shooting. Right, we got this one over here. Okay, need some more magic. Alright, I might actually use her to. Okay, we really need to fucking get rid of this damn general here. But yeah, use her. Her uh, glacial blast ability. But I have to be in melee. In order to properly use it. It's not much, but it's better than nothing. Because all we're going to do now is just get that army losses. On, where's that general? Get rid of him. No, that's not a general. Come on. Don't move forward like that. That was stupid. Maybe just don't give them an order. Just let them shoot it, whatever. Come on, get back over here. Good. Got rid of them. Can't get this other Streltsy out of there. Come on, get rid of this damn Chaos Troll. Get 
This guy's here in a bit of a mess. Try to reform as best we can. Now these ones here that are really badly damaged, just keep them out. It looks like we're winning, there's no sense in sacrificing the unit. We just gotta deliver that final blow. And there it is. Alright, we just gotta kinda hope here that uh, no units got wiped out. Um, I'm not entirely sure. But yeah, the terrain here was very helpful. It stopped us from getting completely surrounded. We funneled them through this section here. I mean, they came around our flank over there, but they weren't really doing that much damage. But it enabled them to blob up a fair bit. Alright, a lot to do. It was, yeah, it's always going to be a pretty victory there. I don't think any units got wiped out. Took a lot of damage, though. Not everything went perfectly well. But we were severely outnumbered. See, the Streltsies are definitely good at dishing out damage over a long period of time, as long as the units in front of them actually hold, and that's the problem. Um, a lot of the time they just can't hold long enough. Because they still had half of their ammunition left at the end of the battle, and they were firing just about the entire time. Where these guys here, they use up all their ammo. Once they've used up all their ammo, it's fine to send them into melee. Same thing with the Cossars. They use up their ammo really quick. No units got wiped out. Cool. I wasn't too focused on that in this battle here, because I was focused on just actually getting the win. Um, didn't I actually kill you? I'm fairly sure I did. Or maybe he shattered and ran away. Whatever the case is, you should be okay to... Take the replenishment. You should be okay to go and take the settlement. Looks like what he did was besiege the settlement over the end turn, which I don't know how many times I gotta tell people to not do that. You had everything that you need to be able to go in and attack the settlement. The only explanation I could possibly have to that is siege battle fatigue, which I completely understand. But sometimes, if you don't want to get caught in these disaster situations, you, you really shouldn't besiege a settlement, but I, I totally understand that the fatigue, uh, the, um, the sieges can be just so exhausting, just minor siege after minor siege, what you do is besiege it and wait for the enemy to actually make an attack on you, which will eventually happen. But the thing is to keep in mind is that the AI is so cowardly that they'll usually bring such an excessive amount of force that they sort of try to guarantee their victory. You know, I think the problem with the AI in Warhammer 3 is not that it's necessarily smart or stupid. It's definitely stupid, but it's stupid in all Total Wars. But the problem is it is designed not to be fun for the player to deal with. You know, I think that's the biggest problem. If you're an, if you're a noob at the game, it's not really that fun to deal with. I think you just order that. And if you're a veteran at the game, it's also not fun to deal with. So they just made an AI that is neither smart nor completely dumb, but is not fun to fight. I think that's the biggest problem. There's nothing wrong with making deliberately dumb AI if it means an entertaining experience for the player. And I think the way to do that is, don't make the AI so goddamn cowardly, but just give them, you know, cheats enough that they actually have some kind of chance. Because at the moment, they're just way too cowardly. So the, when the times that you do actually get a fight with them, it's uh, it's usually very skewed in their favor. Unless you're constantly being in ambush dance. Which is what I'm finding I'm doing in this, in this game. I'm just always in ambush dance. Alright, cool. So that army was... Over here? Yeah, he was just besieging the settlement. So your army should be... In good enough shape to... Okay, you, you can fight it manually, you can easily win that. But yeah, Auto Resolve won't get it through. Um, I understand the fatigue of these sieges, but you're just going to have to grin and bear it. Just keep all the damaged ones out of it, just use the Cossars and the Streltsies there that are in good shape, and you should easily be able to beat that. Or you can just leave it under siege and give them another opportunity to attack you, that's entirely up to you. Anyway, that's the end of this one here, guys. Hope you learned something, hope you enjoyed it. Appreciate you, and I'll see you next time, fuckers. Bye.